we continue our lesson for example 5.21 a function f is given by fx equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 if the domain of f is set of all real numbers show that the function f has no inverse and Restate the domain so that fx is 1 to 1 function. To solve this question, we can choose first method, sketch the graph and to prove that f has no inverse, that means f is not 1 to fx equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. The value of a equal to 1, b negative 4 and c equal to 1 and a greater than 0. The function is minimum. Find the minimum point. x equal to negative b over 2a equal to negative time negative 4 over 2 time 1 equal to 2. And the value of y substitute the value of x into the function. 4 minus 8 plus 1 equal to negative 3. Therefore, the minimum point at 2, negative 3. And intercept y exists at y equal to 1. Refer the value of c. We sketch the graph quadratic. y exists, x exists, and the minimum point at 2 and negative 3. And intercept what exists at 1. To prove that the function is not 1 to 1 function, we can draw one horizontal line. Y equal to K. The K is any value. Therefore, the graph is intercept y equal to k at 2 point. At x equal x1 and x2. Therefore, this function is not 1 to 1 function. Therefore, shown the function f, the function f has no inverse. Next, how to restate the domain so that f is not 1 to 1 function. To restate the domain, we refer at the symmetrical line. Draw one symmetrical line. That symmetrical line x equal to 2. Therefore, to prove that fx is 1 to 1 function, therefore fx equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 and x greater than or equal to 2. For example, 5.22, the question is, a function f is defined by fx equal to set x minus 1 and x greater than or equal to 1. Find an expression for f inverse and find the domain and the range of the f inverse. To solve this question A, fx equal to set x minus 1 and x greater than or equal to 1. To find f inverse by using the properties. f composite f inverse equal to x. Now, the input of fx is f inverse. Set f inverse minus 1 equal to x. f inverse x minus 1 equal to x squared and f inverse x to state the value of x we can refer the function 
x greater than or equal to 1. That means fx is set 1 to 1 equal to 0. Therefore, fx is greater than or equal to 0. For f inverse equal to x squared plus 1 and x greater than or equal to 0. The y switch to the x. And question B, find the domain and the range of the f inverse. Domain of inverse equal to from 0 to infinity. And the range of the f inverse equal to the domain of the function. Therefore, from 1 to infinity. For example, 5.23, the function f and g are defined by f that x map to 2x plus 3 and g that x map to x minus 1. Find question A, f inverse and g inverse. Question B, g composite f inverse and question C, f inverse composite g inverse. For question A, f composite f inverse equal to x using properties. So, 2 f inverse plus 3 equal to x, 2 f inverse equal to x minus 3 and f inverse equal to x minus 3 over 2. Next, for find g inverse by using properties g composite g inverse equal to x therefore g inverse minus 1 equal to x and g inverse equal to x plus 1. Question B Find F composite F inverse. First, find G composite F. G and the input of G is Fx. Equal to Fx minus 1 equal to 2x plus 3 minus 1 equal to 2x plus 2. To find F composite F inverse, we using the properties. G composite F composite G composite F inverse equal to X. That means the input is F composite F inverse to G composite F inverse plus 2 equal to x to g of f inverse equal to x minus 2 and g composite f inverse equal to x minus 2 over 2. For question C, find f inverse composite g inverse f inverse composite g inverse the input of f inverse is g inverse equal to g inverse minus 3 over 2 we further f inverse now g inverse is x plus 1 x plus 1 minus 3 over 2 equal to x minus 2 over 2 we can write f inverse composite g inverse is equal to g of f inverse okay that's all Thank you.